In this era of artificial intelligence, there is need for the pursuit of strategies and practices aimed at creating sustainable human welfare, and these are quite imperative. There are, these are parts of the submissions at a one-day event organised by Humanistic Management Network in Lagos. Our correspondent, Messi Manuel, reports. In line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals of promoting productive employment and decent work for all, the Nigerian chapter of Humanistic Management Network organised an event in Lagos with team Human Dignity and the Future of Work. I don't want us to deviate from that fact that the future of work we are talking about is how does it actually impact the dignity of mankind. It is very, very critical. We have seen people who worked and some of them just collapsed because the work does not really give them time. They are earning the money for fear that if they change job, you know, they might not get that you know, money coming in. Their families even suffer. People should not be seen as a means to an end, but as an end in itself. Um, dignity is eroded when people are disrespected in the workplace. Dignity is eroded when people are treated as do their objects. Panelists at the event discussed on how individuals can develop more skills in this era of artificial intelligence and how technology has affected the workforce. You know, how can I begin to use Excel more efficiently? It's even a starting point. How can I use office productivity suit so you know efficiently? Consulting services. So we can now start beginning to develop competency in those areas. How much can I do in terms of strategic thinking? How can I be of help to these small SMEs that need to be guided in putting a business plan together? Because not everything robots is going to do. Robots will act on strategy, they will act on the information we feed into them. Organizations and employers of labor were called on to make office space efficient and work more flexible. They also emphasize on the need for government to regulate artificial intelligence, not just in Nigeria, but across the globe. This key-based competency framework, I think to even start, you know, that is something that organizations now have to start putting into place. How can we begin to develop the skills of those that have been with us for a long time? Is there even a framework in place? Do organizations, our employers, even have policies in place to see that, okay, um, we are not just using people as means to an end, you know, as tools, but also uh, we are getting them ready to evolve as the nature of work is also evolving, is also changing. We do not only need a legal framework in Nigeria, no. The first thing is we need a legal framework in the world. What is the do and the do? If we all, as body in this global village, as human beings, say, okay, we'll do this to this extent because where you are right, that is where my stops. As technology evolves in Nigeria, individuals were urged to be more efficient in workspace, while employers should help defend human dignity in the face of its vulnerability. Mercy Emmanuel for Plus TV Africa.